I have a Motorola Android. I have a Blackberry. I have an iPhone. I have Galaxy. I have a Sony Android. And I have an iPhone. These days, there's a lot of competition. And with smartphone sales expecting to jump by 40% this year, selling a whopping 1 billion units, smartphone makers are eager to get a piece of the action. So, can Apple's new phone stand out in this crowd? It's always been about its next great product. Uh, and the proof of whether Apple has lost it or not, or whether it's too late for Apple, will be whether they can come up with another innovation that everybody just says, wow, and the entire market pivots and starts making something that looks just like what Apple made. Despite Apple's innovative abilities, it's still a distant second to Samsung, which dominates worldwide smartphone sales. While Apple sits in second and LG Electronics in third, both Nokia, recently bought by Microsoft, and Motorola, now a part of the Google family, are eager to be active players in the smartphone arena. For Sally Neiman, there's no question which phone she'll be getting next. The longtime iPhone user is upgrading to Apple's newest device as soon as she can. Um, I have not considered any other phones. I love going into the stores and going into an AT&T and see them, but I just always go back to the iPhone for some reason. Why do I want to buy the new one? because, I don't know, it's time to get a new one. I'm just, you know, it's like the stars were in alignment for me. I am eligible for an upgrade. A new one's coming up. I'm just going to buy it. Brand loyalty is a big part of Apple's success. But with so many other smartphones now available, keeping customers may no longer be so easy. Samira Hussein, BBC News, New York.